Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and yeah, this is a three-video day. It's it's one of those days where it rains, it pours, and this announcement is huge because Blender 2.92 is here and ready to download, and it's a heck of a nice release. Now, if you're a regular this channel, you probably already know this because I covered Blender 2.92 beta earlier on where I went through some of the nicest new features, this new asset browser, sculpting improvements, modeling improvements, grease pencil improvements, and the all-new geometry node system, and on that topic, I also covered this, which said segues nicely from my last video about Houdini when I said Blender was trying to become more like Houdini while Geometry Nodes was a big part of that change. So what we're going to do now is just jump right in and take a look at the release notes for Blender 2.92 that are available right now. By the way, you can head on over to Blender.org and download it. It is official. It is out now, and I got to give Blender huge props. Their release notes are getting better and better and better. They're beautiful. They're actually a work of art. So whoever puts together the release notes at Blender, kudos. You're doing an excellent job. So we got completely new workflow for editing meshes, new physics simulation methods, faster cycles rendering, better comp compositing with EV, and so much more. This uh, sparks the beginning of something incredible. So it was literally just released about an hour ago. So we have the new geometry notes. Now, this is the whole idea here. This is the first move towards Blender's uh, everything as nodes movement. And what it basically allows you to do is create geometry procedurally. You can uh, have a node-based setup, sort of like you use nodes for shaders, but then what you can do is, like you can see here, a point scattering of uh, rocks to populate a world, or trees to populate a forest, or leaves to create a tree. Procedural geometry is probably the future, and this is the first step support towards supporting it. So we've got some nice examples to get you started going. I already did a hands-on video showcasing how geometry nodes do. Uh, that was in the Blender 2.92 alpha video. Really cool stuff and definitely big part of the future. So next up, we have sculpting changes, and sculpting changes keep coming and coming and coming. Sculpting is, it, it's amazing how much uh, pa um, Pablo has managed to add to the world of sculpting in the world of Blender, but we've got new features, smear multi-res displacement over limit surface, similar to how smearing for colors and topology slide work. We've got pinching, uh, so next level organic sculpting with pinching and beautiful topology smearing can be used multiple times over the same area without generating artifacts in the topology. Uh, in the video, the expand smear mode is used. So we got silhouette anytime. This is actually pretty nice. You can use sculpting for actually grabbing the edges of things. Really handy for posing stuff. So you see here, uh, he's just grabbing the edges of the finger with the new silhouette mode uh, in the grab tool. Now do keep in mind, I think we're seeing the sculpting moving beyond sculpting, become the new de facto modeling set of tools. So that's what this kind of is. It allows you to do profile-based shapes using sculpting, which is really cool. And elastic snake, this mode deforms the mesh using a Kelvinlet instead of applying the, I probably said that wrong and I apologize, instead of applying the displacement directly inside the brush radius, which is great for stylized shape sketching, chop chop, uh, mesh uh, fairing allows you to visually remove parts of your mesh by completely smoothing the area inside of a face set. That's actually really kind of cool. You can read more about it here or you can see it in action right now. So basically, Let's see. Come on. Here comes the chop. Boom. And gone. That is actually really cool. So if you're going to want to just cut things off right away, uh, that's what you can do here. Just quick select and then boom, and it flattens it down. That's actually something I have done dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of times by hand. So that is a nice new sculpting feature. You also got the uh, inverting displacement mesh uh, filter, paint studio light preset, sculpt session stats, face set, edit, delete geometry operations, and plain deformation fall off for grab tools. But I actually got to admit this chop chop thing, this mesh fairing is probably the coolest new sculpting feature in my opinion. Although I do really like the silhouette stuff as well. Uh, Grease Pencil got a lot of love. I covered this in the 2.2 beta video in the past. Uh, you can now edit them as curves. This is actually pretty cool. So you can actually, yeah, let me show you the video as I'm talking. You can actually have it so that um, your, your strokes become curves. You can just edit now in curve mode using normal spline handles. Uh, Definitely a nice improvement there. Uh, trace motion feature now supports image sequences. This was actually really awesome. I showcased it in the past, but basically you can drop a black and white image into your scene and then we'll convert it into a grease pencil drawing. Now you can actually drop a black and white video into your scene like so. If it's got animations, it actually creates a grease pencil sketch from that. That, that is just... 
amazing. Absolutely amazing. So this over here, it, this is an image. This is an animated grease pencil sketch. That is a really cool feature. So last version, uh, 2.91, I guess it was, we got the ability to create these traces from grease pencil, but now they've got the ability to do uh, animations. That's awesome. Uh, smooth. Uh, so grease pencil interpolation has been improved to better uh, deal with different size strokes. Previously, a longer stroke would be cut off. With a new algorithm, the strokes are properly stretched to fit the extreme shapes um, exactly. And then a number of other improvements to grease pencil. Uh, create primitives. This is actually kind of cool. There's a new button down here uh, that allows you to create primitives directly. You go into primitive mode, then you can draw, you know, draw the radius and then extrude it out. Uh, so that one is really nice for people that are, are making shapes all the time or if you're doing level blockouts or something. The new primitive mode is definitely a nice one. It was supposed to be in 2.91, I think, but it got bumped out. And of course, EV, the real-time renderer, and Cycles, the not-so-real-time renderer, both got some love as well. Uh, we got CryptoMat. Uh, CryptoMat standard is now in EV to officially create crypto uh, to create mats for compositing. Uh, the settings are shared between EV and cycles. Uh, arbitrary output variables are essential for compositing. Now also available when rendering in EV. Sh uh, shader AOV settings also be shared with cycles. Um, Open VDB. So the uh, this is. Um, kind of a volume rendering open standard. Uh, they've been improving this more and more with each release. Uh, significantly more memory efficient by using uh, sparse Dano VDB uh, grid. Uh, we've got, uh, again, RTX improvements coming in here. So optics now support hybrid rendering to combine the power of your CPU and GPU devices. Ambient occlusion and bevel shaders are now supported when using optics. Um, 2.92 includes APIC, a new method for simulations. So here's the flip. And here is Epic. Epic produces a very energetic but also more stable simulation. So it's not that one is better than the other. You're just going to get much different results and more stable results from the Epic simulations. Another, a, a number of other improvements in physics, including a new viscosity method, improved particle sampling, faster playback, and smaller cache sizes. Uh, cloth now support ex excluding faces from object collisions using a vertex group and disable colliders without removing the modifier. Exposé, see everything with the new Exposé node in the compositor. Uh, so on the left of the result of the exposure node, on the right, the raw image. Uh, animation, better Euler discontinu discontinuity, discontinuity, it's not that hard to say, Mike. Filter, custom object space for constraints, new uh, NLA or nonlinear animation strips will have sync length enabled. Improvements on B-bone preserve volume, F-curves with modifiers are now drawn anchored to the NLA script. Uh, strip, sorry, uh, weight painting, auto normalization improvements, bake actions, optional cleanup, and user interface improvements. But there are much more huge speed ups of multiple uh, tracks, VSC, uh, media transform resign, simulation cache library overrides, and so, and so, and so. A huge, huge uh, update. I'm actually kind of shocked. I don't see anything here about the new. Um, uh, organization systems that are built into it as well, which is part of the 2.92 beta. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more, see if that got uh, bumped out, because there is under the scenes an all new um, you know, project organization and management system in place that's actually quite a bit nicer for making new libraries and organizing your content together. And I don't, I don't see that here, but uh, anyways, that was in the beta all the same. Let me know what you think of uh, Blender 2.92. Blender 2, it, it's, it's staggering how fast Blender is improving. It's it, it just mind-blowing, and they've got more resources than I ever have before, so I see no reason why we're not going to see this level of improvement going forward. And and what feature did you like the most here? Mine, it, it's definitely a draw. Uh, I like the sculpting changes of grabbing the silhouette. It's going to make doing profile-type sculpting a lot easier. I absolutely love this chop tool, and it's very small, but I really like this new primitives mode as well. But the improvements to Grease Pencil, if I ever had any 2D artistic skill, I would definitely consider using uh, Blender for uh, 2D animations. And that's not something I would have said a couple of years ago. So uh, Blender uh, 2.92 was just released. Let me know what you think of it in general. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.